the Christian holy book, the Bible said that uh, God created angels. You know, these are beautiful beings, uh, bright and shiny and beautiful. And one of them, one of the, mo the, the most beautiful is called Lucifer. Lucifer means the morning star. He was so beautiful, he started falling in love with himself. And so he thinks he is better than God. And when God hear about this, God become very angry and then God sent him down and he become the devil, the Satan. So in many, many holy books, uh, in many, many religions, this, this, uh, this theme repeated again and again that actually pride is the cause of fall, downfall. You know, in the Mahayana Buddhism, they also, uh, there are five poison and one of them pride, the other one of course ignorance, and then the other one is anger, uh, uh, envy and attachment. Actually, there are two kinds of pride. Uh, the word pride can mean two different things. One is a positive, the other one is negative. The positive pride is like when you are, have a pride of your country, of your nation, or when a father have pride on their children. That, that's a positive one. The other one is an excessive uh, perception of self-importance. And that is the negative thing because this is what caused the downfall. And so, but for the rest of the video, I'm just going to talk about the, the negative part that, that caused us to fail. Where does this pride come from? It comes from two different sources, uh, usually when we were young. Uh, when we receive too much praises from our parents, and then we become addicted to this uh, attention, right? Praises. So when we don't have uh, people to praise us, we don't feel good, so we start praising ourselves. And that, that is pride. And the other one is, uh, some children grow up in the house that parents, brothers and sisters always taking power from them. So they lose power continually. They feel not important in the house. So when they become somebody of, uh, of uh, substance, somebody like a teacher, somebody like a, a, a leader, a, a manager, they, they have this external power, so they want to get as much attention as they can to themselves, and this is called pride. What is the indicator when people have pride? Of course, the biggest, uh, the biggest indicator is arrogance. Some people even said that arrogance and pride are the same thing, but I believe arrogance comes from pride. It's like pride is the root of arrogance. And the other indicator is that they tend to look down on other people. Yeah, they, they have inflated uh, perception of themselves. Uh, other people don't see them that good, but they kind of boast a lot. You know, they, they, I can do this, I can do that. And even many of them are not true. Another indicator of pride is sometimes it's, you don't see it as come from pride, but it is. This is apathy. The thing that they don't care about other people because they are so focused on themselves. People, other people doesn't matter, you know. I'm number one. The world have three important people in my life in the world. Number one is me, number two is me, number three is me. And of course, when you do that, people start to distance themselves from you. And we learn that no one can be successful alone. So when we start to become too proud of ourselves, people start to leave us. And we have to remember that no one can be successful alone and without friends and staff, people, team to help us, we will fail eventually. Another uh, impact of pride is that people who have always proud of themselves too much, it's very easy to ma manipulate it. All you need to do is to say something good about them, they will do anything for you because that is what they're missing, that is what they want all the time. And so pride comes from fear, actually, comes from low self esteem. People who have high self-esteem don't need to boast about themselves, but people who have low self-esteem want to build themselves up because when they look inside themselves, there's nothing good in there. So they're trying to build up on the outside. You know, how good I am, how clever I am, how beautiful I am, and so on. So how can we overcome uh, pride, you know? Because sometimes anybody, I think most of us tend to have some pride one way or the other. So how can we uh, actually solve this problem, overcome our arrogance, overcome our, 
our uh, pride. I think the best, the best way I know is to look into our life and to see how we become so successful, if we are successful, how we become what we are right now. And we look at it carefully and we realize that we become what we are, not because of ourselves, but because other people help us to become that way. So when we can understand that our parents help us to become successful, our brothers and sisters, you know, and if you are a manager, it is our staff that make us successful. When we can understand that and we can see that, then we become grateful. And so my point is gratitude is the most potent weapon against self-pride. Thank you very much. Thank you.